Are you are my gum. Oh, that's quick. Will you marry? Oh, oh my gosh. I think he's giving me the wrong cake. One second, babe, babe. I'm just going to excuse babe. me. Oh. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Babe, this is... No matter what type of day I'm having, I know, I know everything's going to be all right because I'm, I'm coming home to you. Ah, what but what did she say? Yeah, <laughs> we got out the good part. <laughs> Welcome back to GMA3. That was a clip from Netflix's new sci-fi drama series, Supercell. I'm hooked already. The super-powered South London-based drama amassing nearly 12 million views and its first full week of streaming. And here to tell us all about it, please welcome to the GMA3 Woo! Studios, writer, director, and producer, Rapman. Hey, man. Hey, thank you for having me, man. Uh, so good, man. So you've been working on this for almost four years. Why did you want to create it? Because I'm a massive fan of the superhero genre, but I never thought it was realistic to reality. And when I say that, obviously it's not realistic to reality because it's superpowers. But, for example, if I get superpowers now, my first thought is not to get spandex and a cape. You know? <laughs> I'm trying to pay some bills, I'm trying to make this relationship work. So what can I do to help my normal life first? So I just wanted to see that show, you know, so that's where it all stemmed from that. Just regular people so who get sorry. these superpowers. Oh, that's so cool. The mm -hmm. series has a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes and it's the top ranked show worldwide. Nice. It's doing really well. On Netflix. Well. It's doing really, really well. That's it's crazy. crazy. I mean, what has the whole response of it all been like for you? Man, like, it, when the first day it came out, I was really nervous because I knew it would get well received in the UK because it was basically written with UK at the heart. I didn't know how it would get taken outside of the UK. So when I started seeing all the American reviews come in and the reviews from Africa and the reviews from Europe, it was crazy. And then all the love you start receiving on social media, it's been kind of overwhelming, you know? But um, it feels, I feel like it's deserved because we work so hard on trying to make something entertaining, hey, something yo. that, you know, was engaging. So I feel, I feel happy, but I feel like, yes, the four years just didn't go to waste. <laughs> And it also tackles some real life issues uh, faced by black Britons like healthcare bias and sickle cell anemia. What made you want to weave all of that into this series? It's just the experience of living as a black man in, in the United Kingdom and probably everywhere else, you know, as a, a lot of these things that I put in there are things, conversations that I've had or conversations I've heard or just how I feel or how I know a lot of people feel. And I just wanted to get the show to be as grand as possible. So our conversations were going to be about real things and how we're feeling. And that's, that's just the show. You know, even though we've got all these extraordinary things, people flying, super speed, lifting up cars, the real strength is the heart of the show where people are just being themselves and talking about normal stuff that they feel is affecting their day-to-day -day life. What's been the reaction? It's, it's been crazy, man. Like, it, it, I, I don't even know where to begin with it. I, I'd have to sit here for a whole hour, but it's just been positive. Really Superheroes, they're just like us. <laughs> yeah, literally, basically. I'd love to see it. One more time for Rap Man, everybody. Thank you. So happy for you. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. <laughs> and by the way, be sure to check out Supercell on Netflix. Go support him right now. So cool.